Chainlink is an oracle, essentially. An oracle provides data to contracts because contracts on their own are not able to get data. Data is extremely important in that it lets contracts know what's going on. It lets them know what happened in the market, what happened with a shipment, what happened with an insurance event. And without this information, contracts, they can't, they can't react. So contracts are usually about events. And without data, a smart contract can't know about an event and therefore can't exist relative to that event. And this, this, is, limit, this is a big limitation. So uh, fundamentally what Chainlink is, is it's a solution to this problem of how do I get data to a contract? How do I allow a contract to interact with uh, an important contractual event, right? How do I how do, I, how, how do I make smart contracts able to react to market events, insurance events, shipment events, and how do I allow them to generate those same events? And if we allow them to do this, it greatly expands what they do on, on networks like Polkadot, uh, which is kind of what we're seeking to do. Chainlink, um, Chainlink is essentially a solution to this problem. I, I think one of the most significant things that can happen to this space today is that we go from smart contract networks only enabling token movement to smart contract networks running the types of complex contracts that can power entire industries. So the way that financial industry, the financial services industry, the insurance industry, the trade finance industry work on the back end is that they have a digital agreement that runs in some server somewhere and it can, it can talk to everything it needs to talk to. It can know that a market price changed. It can pay the, the, the end user however they want to be paid. And until smart contracts can do that, um, it's not likely they're gonna, they're, they're gonna win. They're gonna be, substan they're gonna be better, better, substantially better, better enough to win than these traditional forms of digital agreement. And so if we take the space from highly reliable digital agreements for tokenization to highly reliable digital agreements that can do every other type of financial product, contract, and agreement that, that, that you can think of, um, I think that's a massive increase in value. I, I think the Polkadot platform is an interesting approach to scalability, and it's an interesting approach to taking you know, the Ethereum network and the Ethereum ecosystem in a direction that solves certain concerns and problems that people have with using, using that category of smart contracts. So our, our interest in the Polkadot network is enabling the developers in that environment to build these truly interesting contracts. And I think if, if a developer can show up to, to a smart contract network and they have a usable language, um, they have the scalability properties they need, and they have the ability to interact with all the necessary inputs and generate all the necessary outputs, then they can build, they can build the types of applications that they could see powering a large scale use case. So, I mean, I, essentially, I think Polkadot is doing, it is going in interesting directions to solve, solve real problems. Those solutions will likely attract a group of developers that want to build with that category of solutions, specifically something like scalability. And then when they build those applications, they're also going to need them to have the necessary inputs and outputs. And they're going to need those inputs and outputs to be secure and reliable, which is another thing that Chainlink excels at, um, which I can go into separately. But yeah, I think, I think uh, for us, the interest is in supporting the Polkadot developer community in their development of interesting contracts, of useful externally connected contracts. Yeah, so I mean, this year there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. I know Polkadot's uh, going to mainnet. We have been doing a lot of testing and auditing of our system. We've had a, a, a number of people using it and we're also planning to go to mainnet. And uh, I mean, kind of, I think the most exciting thing is the, the large amount of projects that are building something that need inputs. Uh, both in the Polkadot ecosystem and outside of it. I think the, the most exciting thing for me is the thesis we have that 
contracts need externally connected data and they need to be able to generate whatever form of payment or, sell or settlement people want. Um, I mean, that thesis is being uh, pretty well validated at this point by the teams and the, the banks and the insurance companies we work with. Um, we, we haven't met, met people who, who don't want a more secure way of triggering their contract if they're building, and, and we're meeting more and more people that want to build these complex, more involved contracts because they, they in my opinion, they can deliver so much more value.